it's really difficult to have people just judge you and not like you and make assumptions about you when they don't know you. You cannot live life trying to please the opinions of others. Like people will either like you or they won't. Hey everyone, I hope you're all okay. If you're new here, my name's Tanvi and we talk all things social media, career and lifestyle. So I have been wanting to make this video for a while now and for so long I've kind of strayed away from the term and I'm very open about the fact that I don't call myself an influencer and that is for a number of reasons. Firstly, it's because I just don't think I do enough to be an influencer. It also isn't my full-time job so I feel like that's always given me a good reason or excuse to not call myself an influencer but I think the third and most important point which is what I want to tackle in this video is because I feel like there's a lot of negative connotations and perceptions that people have around influencers and I want to try and kind of break those perceptions and break the barriers of what it means to be an influencer because I honestly do feel like influencers don't get enough credit. <laughs> and I think most importantly being an influencer it takes a lot of gut and it takes a lot of confidence and courage to literally put yourself out there on the internet to talk about something to share something and just like have your own opinion and you're always attaching kind of your own name and your own face to all of those things and that is so scary to do especially on the internet which we all know can be full of weirdos can be full of people who just love to hate so it is really scary and being an influencer means you don't always have like a business or a brand to hide behind. You are yourself and you are your own personality and people will either like you or they won't. And for those who don't like you, they literally don't like you for the way you look or what you say or your personality. There's nothing to hide behind. So as an influencer, people need to buy into you as a person. And I honestly do think that is one of the hardest things you can do as a business, as a career, is to literally make money off just being yourself. There'll just be so many people out there that all of these assumptions about me, they've made judgments about me when they literally don't know me, they've never met me, they've never even had a conversation with me, but they think they know me because of what they see on social media. It's really difficult to have people just judge you and not like you and make assumptions about you when they don't know you. So I do think being an influencer is a really brave thing to do and they deserve so much more credit. Secondly, there's actually skills that I have developed becoming an influencer over lockdown that I genuinely believe has helped me in my corporate job. And that's things like public speaking. I have to talk on my stories. I have to be on live streams. I have to create IGTVs that are engaging, that cover important topics. And all of that requires public speaking as a skill. Having kind of put a lot of videos out there now and just sitting behind a camera and just thinking about what's important and kind of the messages I want to deliver, I really feel like has helped my public speaking and presentation skills. And I feel like all of those skills are 100% transferable into my full-time job, which I think is so great. At number three, it is a big one and it's taking criticism. Now, I've touched upon this in my previous two points, but you are literally putting yourself out there to receive hate to be given unsolicited opinions, unsolicited advice. I get so many people in my DMs being like, I think you should do this and I think you should talk like this and I don't agree with what you did there. But at the end of the day, it is my voice and it's my platform and I'm more than entitled to kind of share my experiences and my stories in the way which I think is best. And as a result, I will always be open to opinions and criticism, but that's made me really, really thick skinned. And again, in the corporate world, it's really easy for me now just to like have more faith in myself, because at the end of the day, if I know what I'm doing is right and what I believe to be right at the time, then that's all that matters. And that's such an important way to live life because you cannot live life trying to please the opinions of others like you just can't live life like that so it's really helped me to just take criticism on board but also just move on and like not take it to heart and just get on with life at number four we have time management and this is literally like an understatement and influencers 100 do not get enough credit for how much time and effort goes into all of the behind the scenes stuff that influencers do i will literally have brand deals, I'll have content creation, I'll have photo shoots, which is just the social media side of my life. And again, that's three different job types with multiple different brands overlapping simultaneously with different deadlines and different types of content. So all of that accumulated into one requires 
a hell of a lot of time management and organization skills. It also requires you to be really like self-aware of kind of your capacity and your limits and like how much you can take on. And you've got to organize your strategy and your pipeline like weeks, if not months in advance. And I feel like those are really, really important life skills that you don't always get from other jobs. And then last but not least, being an influencer means you have to be business minded. People just underestimate how much of a business aspect influencing is. In financial terms, influencers have to handle various streams of income. And all of that is a business model in itself, figuring out kind of the prices, what you want to charge your prices based on, whether it's your hourly rate, whether it's based on your engagement and your followers. There's a lot of different strategies and business model like thinking that goes into influencing. You also have to think about tax, you have to think about your income, you have to think about your expenses, you have to ensure you're doing your tax returns and ensuring that you're paying the right amount. And again, understanding that is a skill in itself. Then you've got to think about things legally. So in terms of contracts, all influencers will have contracts in place for kind of all the deals and photo shoots they have going on. And again, you want to be reading all these contracts, making sure you understand the legal terms. Then you'll also have like invoices and payments. So you'll have to be sending out invoices, you'll have to be ensuring people are paying you on time and I feel like I've just scratched the surface in terms of trying to explain how influencing is a business model in itself so again they deserve more credit. I know that was quite a short and quick video but I just hope that helps people to understand one how much goes into it but two if you're thinking about doing it to know that you're aware of kind of what you're getting yourself into and let's try and get rid of some of those negative connotations and perceptions that influencers automatically have without actually giving them some credit for what they do because it does require so many different skills and so much time and so much organization and so much effort. I hope you guys liked that video. If you did, please like, comment your thoughts because I'd love to know if you agree with me, if you've never really thought about it like that or if you disagree with me, which is also absolutely fine. And if you do like my videos, please, please don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.